12 months ago, Wayne Greenshields weighed 227 kilos. The guy that Wayne is at the moment is the guy that uh, eaten his way to death. This super obese man began a journey to save his own life. Your weight today? 171 kilos. Terrified that blood clots would end his life, he had a stomach stapling operation. This is the tool that I needed to help me get rid of everything that I was carrying around. It really feels like the weight has been lifted. And as weight fell off, he finally started to overcome his bullied childhood. Every time that hits the ground, that's something everyone said, not feeling good, get it out. I'm just looking forward to it all coming out and, you know, people being able to see the way in the eye know. When weighing in at more than 220 kilos, Wayne could walk 50 metres, let alone run it. Less than 12 months later, he has a new goal. It's not 500 metres or five kilometres. Instead, it's a full 12 kilometre run for a man who never exercised for the first 27 years of his life and nearly ate himself to death. This is a major event for you. I mean, this, is, this isn't just 12 k's, this is whole life change. This is everything. I mean, when we started this, you know, 10 metres was a difficult point for you. Now, you're about to do 12 k's, your whole life has changed, everything is looking up, life is good. Today's another kickstart for him. If he gets through this, he knows he's getting towards the end of the race. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I think this run was a mental hurdle. I needed to refocus me to get to what I want. He's always been able to. It's about the self-belief and the discovery of this guy who he is. Halfway, mate. Six Ks. Four Ks more than you've ever, ever run before. You gonna get to the end? Yeah. Come on. Each kilometre I hit, it was, I've done that now. I'm still going, and I hit the next one, and it's like, well, I've hit this one now, legs are still going. I'm hurting, but I'm still capable of doing this. So, in my own mindset, it was the fact that I decided to start it running, I was going to run it. I refused to quit. What a brave guy. I mean, this guy couldn't walk 15 metres before when he started. And could this go wrong for him? I don't think so. He has that much determination and that much self-drive. Now, he's discovered this inner person. You're going to do it all right. Come on. I really feel like today and this run has let me let go of the, those emotions and let me just push through to what I think I can achieve. Good job, mate. Good job. This is you know, one of the proudest moments this guy has ever had in his life, and me also. I mean, this guy couldn't walk 10 metres. Now he's just run 12 kilometres. Great, mate. Good job. Hey. Ran all the way. Proud of yourself? Today, just proving to myself and using that anger and emotion that I've got to get me to the end is something I needed to do to realise that now I am where I am, but I've got a place I need to be and nothing's going to stop me now. This guy's got the world ahead of him. He will do anything. He can do anything. Give me a week or so, I reckon I'm going to be wanting to do this again. Just the feeling I got at the end, that's, um, that's a priceless feeling. The man I met a year ago in the gym when we, Wayne first started this journey was this, he wasn't a man, he was just a, a person living. He's carried, you know, such a heavy burden of weight. Now he's discovered this new person that he has become and that he's wanted to become. So Wayne, let's have a look at exactly what they've done. So first surgery here down the side, both sides to then bring the abdominal area back in. Yeah, so the next surgery is the chest to obviously continue to obviously flatten that out. So Second. under this is a six pack. So I say, 
<laughs> yeah. Hopefully. If not, can I borrow yours? <laughs> you can borrow mine any day. For the size Wayne was, it's absolutely impossible to get rid of that excess skin. He needs surgery. So a total of five surgeries you're going to have. Five, yeah. And between 20 and 25 kilos of weight gone. Did you yeah. ever think this possible when you first started at 227 kilos? To actually get here and to be looking at that 100 kilo goal and being a realistic goal is just mind blowing. Not only I have lost the weight, I've lost the excess baggage mentally of the problems I had. Good job, mate. Good job. Being overweight as a kid, being overweight as I've grown up, like I've been able to let go of that to enjoy my new life. Living. Yeah, living again, living properly, living the way you're meant to live. Yeah, it doesn't just make me proud, it makes me uh, you know, emotional to see this guy travel the journey, achieve what he's achieved, and along the way get rid of all the burden, all the demons that he's had to deal with all his life and uh, move on. So one of the 227, my heaviest weight was 227 kilos. So that's the reminder for me never to go back to the way I was. And now it's my turn to catch up with the new Wayne, who can, at last, walk into a menswear shop without shame. At the beginning of the year, what size were you in terms of what was available in the store? What size were you? I'm um, an 11 XL. Do you remember what you were around the waist? Um, 170 when we first started. We are, that's sitting at 123. Okay. Look at that. Look how much, look at that. Oh, I could fit in here. Look, there's another person in here. <laughs> you've lost, you've lost a whole other self. That's amazing. What does that feel like? To look back at it now and to realise what I'd actually missed out on by having that size and living that lifestyle, it's, very sort of very upsetting to think about it, but yet very empowering to know that I was there and I am where I am now. So, what, what's the upsetting thing? What's the, the upsetting the... thing that you sort of like? I go back and dwell on is the fact of I went through my teens, my early twenties in that lifestyle, and not realising what I was missing out on, and looking at it now, even still. 28, but looking back on it and saying like 10 years of my life I lost mm. to, to having a weight problem but it's my sole motivation and stuff to keep me going and getting further is the fact that I'm not there anymore. Oh, okay. What do you think? Like that? Okay. I like the jeans. Yeah, I like the top. Four more skin removal surgeries will cut another 20 kilos off Wayne's body. What could be better than losing 100 kilos, except finding a life this young man never knew existed? I did everything to make everyone happy when I was a big person, and now I do everything to make myself happy. And what more could a young man want than a future full of hope?